hi viewers welcome to Ganesh K YouTube channel in this tutorial I am going to explain you how to create grids in Tecla structures 2024 version with this PDF example I will provide this PDF example link in the description please download and practice along with this video okay let's start open Tecla structures in Indian environment this is the default grid to rotate the view you can use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this when I go to edit this grid according to our example you can see in our example we have four grids in X direction and three grids in Y direction that means vertical direction okay I'm going to create this plan in this project so double click on grid to open rectangular grid property window like this you can see we have x direction here coordinate this is the y coordinate and this is the z coordinate in our x direction in our example we have grids 4 and the spacing is the 5000 6000 and 5000 initially our first grid at at this coordinate that means the this grid should be 0 so initially we need to take here 0 and later we need to give the spacing between two grids that is called as a base spacing in our example we have base spacing 5000 next 6000 next 5000 so we need to enter here 5000 and give space 6000 and give space and next 5000 now coming to in y direction in our example we have three grids a b c and the spacing we have 4000 and 4500 and initial first grid at the at the coordinate that means a zero zero so enter here first grid zero and next we need to enter the spacing 4000 and 4500 so enter here 4000 and give space 4500 now coming to the z direction that means the elevation you can see we have ground floor and first floor and second floor ground floor at plus zero and first floor plus three thousand and second floor plus seven thousand plus indicates the, the this value from ground level that means you can see plus 3000 that means the ground level to first floor level is the 3000 and 7000 means uh, from ground level to second floor level plus 7000 that means 7000 millimeter is the spacing between the ground floor to second floor level so we are going to enter these values in here in the z direction so initially the first floor at plus zero so we need to enter here zero give space and first first floor we have three thousand and second floor we have seven thousand so enter plus three thousand and give space and seven thousand okay now coming to the label you can modify here also click on modify you can see now bits are updated but coming to these labels we need to enter the labels also you can see you know x direction we have label value one two three four by default we have a b c we need to update this value so enter here one two three four coming to the y direction we need to enter according to in our example we have a b c so we need to enter here a capital a b c in z direction also we need to enter update the values here plus zero plus three thousand and plus seven thousand is the label value you can see by default we have plus zero and plus three thousand we can enter here plus seven thousand in the second floor level okay but we are going to enter from scrap so plus zero and give the space and plus three thousand and give space plus seven thousand now click on modify to see the result here and click on modify you can see now the values are also updated here grid labels one two three four and in y direction we have a b c okay now close this window property window click on space right click on mouse read how you you can see you'll get like this but you can see now these grids are out of this box this is the model box we're going to update this box so click on space right click on mouse click on this fit work area to entire model to update this box like this okay now we're going to measure these dimensions whether these grids are 
at exactly correct value or not so go to the top view by using the shortcut control p now we're going to uh, measure this dimension so click on edit and click on here measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and click on here to see the dimension similarly click the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension pick the first point and second point and click on here similarly we're going to measure this vertical distance so click on measure and select this vertical distance option then click the first point and second point and click on here pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have dimensions in x direction and y direction now we're going to check this dimension with our pdf example you can see x direction we have base spacing 5000 6000 and 5000 5000 6000 and 5000 now coming to the y direction we have 4000 and 4500 4000 and 4500 we have proper exact values so now click on space to arrange this checking dimensions click on space right click on mouse redraw now use the shortcut control p to get back into the 3d view like this use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this you can see now we need to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines plan you can enter here plan on grid and x z y and x z is the elevation so you need to you can see this is the plan and z y and x z are the elevation so when you enter here elevation before the grid type here elevation on view space similarly we're going to enter here elevation on grid then click on create and ok you can see now we have grids like this you can increase the this window like this just place the cursor at the edge you will get the symbol then you can stretch this window like this <coughs> Now we have elevations and plan views here. Now close this window. To open view list, you can click on here window and select this view list to open it. Otherwise, you can click on here edit and click on here view and then click on here view list to open here like this. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut also control I to open view list like this. We have already measured this grid spacing in x and y direction now we want to measure the spacing in elevation view or the spacing between the floors so click on here window and select this view list and go to the elevation on grid one select it and click on this arrow to open the window and close it you can see click on window currently we have active windows of two first one is 3d view and second one is the elevation view like this okay you can also cross check with the title here you can see currently we are in elevation on grid one at the top of the window you can see here elevation on grid one or you can click on here this little arrow indicates the activated window like this if you wanted to see the 3d click on here you can see we are we are in 3d view click on window and select this elevation view to get the elevation view like this now we're going to measure the spacing so 0 plus 3000 and plus 7000 we have same like this here now we're going to measure the dimension so click on edit and select this measure and set this vertical distance and pick the first point and second point and click on here from ground to first floor we have 3000 now 7000 indicates from ground to second floor level is the 7000 so click the first point here and click the second point and click on here to place the dimension 7000 from the ground to erase this dimension click on space right click on mouse redraw view like this now click on window and select this 3d view you can see you will get like this okay that's it about how to create grids in the cloud structures 2024 version with this pdf example i will provide this pdf example link in the description please download and practice along with this video okay if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below 
For more tech class structure related videos, please subscribe my channel, Penny SK YouTube channel. Okay, thank you.